Mesa Day, Intel CPUs take a massive performance hit. AMD's first hybrid core APU has leaked, your AMD GPU's finally getting a huge FPS boost, and AMD released a new GPU and CPU. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. I'm going to start today with a big story that affects a lot of users to say the least. Recently, a security vulnerability within a pretty large number of Intel CPUs was revealed by Intel themselves, along with the researcher who discovered it. It's called Downfall, and it basically uses a vulnerability and a memory optimization feature that exposes internal hardware registers to software, so it can be a major issue, especially because it affects CPUs from Skylake to Rocket Lake, Mainstream, and even server chips. So pretty large number of CPUs. Well, Intel rolled out a microcode update to patch the vulnerability. The issue is that even according to Intel, it can and does impact performance. In fact, they claim an impact of up to 50% on AVX2 and AVX512 workloads that use the gather instruction, which is basically the part that exposes the hardware registers. And this brings me to the new story. In a new post from 4Onyx, they tested the impact of Intel's new mitigations within Linux. And as you can see, in pretty much every test, Intel's mitigation heavily affects performance. And as Tom's hardware mentions, this doesn't just affect AI or HPC workloads. It also affects things like video encoding or transcoding, so it's not good at all. Now, Intel does allow you to opt out of the mitigation, but that's obviously a personal choice for everyone as to what they value more, security or performance. Next up for today, new screenshots have surfaced of AMD's upcoming hybrid core APU. The original screenshots were shared via a post by PerformanceDatabases.com, and as you can see, it's of an engineering sample with codename Strix with point cut out, but this is clearly a Strix point CPU, meaning this is one of AMD's next-gen Ryzen 8000 APUs. It also mentions some pretty wild things like a base clock of 8.8 GHz, but we see issues like this a lot in engineering samples. The really important important part comes from here, where you can see that this is a hybrid core design, with 4 cores and 8 threads for performance cores, and 8 cores and 16 threads for efficiency cores, meaning this is a 12 core part with Zen 5 cores for the P cores and Zen 5C for the E cores, making this AMD's first real hybrid core part. And of course, you'll notice that even the E cores here have hyper-threading, which is one of the big differences between AMD and Intel's E core designs. Not only that, but it's also expected to come with 6 16 RDNA 3.5 CUs, making it one beast of an APU. Unfortunately, we don't have any actual benchmarks or anything, but it'll definitely be interesting to see what AMD can do here. Next up, if you were following the channel in late 2022, during the release of AMD's RX 7000 series cards, you know that the company also announced their rival to NVIDIA's DLSS3 frame generation. It's called FSR3, and it promised double the frame rate when compared to FSR2. Later, we received information that this does include frame generation. Now, if you weren't following the channel and didn't know that, make sure that doesn't happen again by subscribing to GamerMelt. Either way, at the time, AMD promised a 2023 release date. Now, I was hoping that meant a fairly early 2023 release, but clearly that hasn't been the case. Well, we now have a new story from Moore's Law is Dead that shows us it won't be much longer. According to an OEM he spoke with, AMD recently notified them that they can expect FSR 3 briefings this week. Apparently, it's going to be ready by Q4 of this year, with it most likely coming in September, so just one month away. Better yet, he claims that the goal is to have it out in time for Navi32 release. Think the 7800 XT and 7700 XT GPUs. Of course, I'm not surprised that they'd be coming this soon, given all the leaks recently, but it's nice to hear that they're finally on the way. The question is whether FSR3 will work with both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs, or just AMD cards. And if so, what GPUs will be supported? Time will tell, but regardless, many GPUs are about to get a big performance boost. And lastly for today, AMD just announced a new limited edition GPU and CPU. As you know, not too long ago, AMD became the exclusive PC partner for the highly anticipated game Starfield. Well, in a new video by the company, they announced the limited edition Starfield GPU and CPU. Now, the GPU is a 7900 XTX that, I have to admit, comes with a really cool design. As you can see, it's essentially a reskin of the Founders Edition 7900 XTX, but it definitely 
looks nice and white. In fact, while I typically prefer a blacked out PC, this has me rethinking that. Then when it comes to the CPU, it's essentially just a 7800X3D with a new box. So the main thing here is really that new GPU. Unfortunately, like with many of these limited edition models, you can't get one through a normal retail store. Instead, the only way you can get your hands on one is by winning one of the giveaways that start at QuakeCon. AMD has only made 500 units of each part, so there certainly aren't that many, but there's at least a decent chance that quite a few people can win. Oh, and if someone in my audience wins one of these, I might just be willing to buy one from you if you're willing to sell, so keep me in mind. Either way, it's clear that AMD is using their partnership with Star field as much as they can, and at least in this case, I'm liking what they have so far. So while that does it for today, what do you think about that new limited edition GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day!